Hi, today we are taking a look behind the scenes at the Ferry Barracuda restoration project. More than 2,500 Barracuda aircraft were built for the Royal Navy and not a single example exists anywhere in the world today. The Fleet Air Arm Museum has in its collection the largest assembly of ferry built aircraft and ferry aviation archive. So the Ferry Barracuda is a really important missing part of that specific collection. The project is using wreckage gathered from crash sites uh, around the UK, all done with MOD approval, but it's providing the original material that we need to construct our Barracuda. Components such as this, crash site wreckage such as this, can then be skillfully restored and turned into reusable original components like this. These are not new parts made out of new metal, these are restored original components from the crash site. The aim is to use as much original material as possible in the rebuild before we start making any new parts out of new metal. So far the build contains at least an impressive 90% of original reclaimed material that's been skillfully restored and crafted back into reusable parts from the various crash site sections. The most recent wreckage has been recovered from the Solent in 2019 uh, and the team has been busy stripping and dismantling and harvesting all of the valuable original components that have been on the seabed for 74 years. These have been going through a cleaning and desalination process so that we can get the components freed off, decorroded and into a usable state. William Gibbs, uh, the team member that's leading the engineering side of this project, is unfortunately one of the staff who's not able to be currently on site as a result of the, the situation we're in. And that gives us a problem because William had uh, prepared pieces from the Solent wreckage which have been desalinated, have been blast cleaned and are now ready to go away to the metal finishing company locally to get zinc plated and prevent them from corroding. We now have a challenge daily to keep this on ice and keep these components oiled uh, and air free and try and keep the corrosion at bay waiting for when the team can return and get back to the Barracuda project full time. <laughs>